So as you probably know by now, CBT Nuggets has you covered for the CCIE version 5 written and lab exam preparation. Yeah, this is exciting news, a refresh from Cisco and a refresh from CBT Nuggets and their CCIE training. In this micro nugget, let's go ahead and explore the concept of documentation in your CCIE version 5 lab exam. Lots of misinformation out there about documentation and its usage in your lab exam. Let's jump in. So is it true that you get access to the Cisco documentation during all three sections of your CCIE version 5 lab exam? The answer is a resounding yes, you do have access to the Cisco documentation. It reminds me of a failing lab attempt that I had. I was in a miserable mood. I walked up to the proctor at the RTP location in North Carolina, and the proctor at that time was Howard, and I said, Howard, I can't believe this test. And he said, what do you mean, Anthony? I said, I can't believe everything that you expect me to configure in eight hours. It's just absurd. It's not fair. And he said, oh, Anthony, it's very fair. I said, what do you mean? He said, we've given you access to all the answers. We've given you the documentation. We better give you a very small, short time period. If we gave you a long time period in which to configure your exam, you would read all the documentation and figure it out. It's pretty, uh, it's an interesting comment from Howard, and it is right. We do have all the answers at our fingertips, but you'd have to really know how and when to use that documentation to really take advantage of it. Let's see exactly what's available to you in all three sections. If you go to the support menu at cisco.com and then you go to all products, this page right here is what you see when you access the documentation from the drop down menu in your lab exam software. You're brought right here. Notice Cisco is going to give you access to everything that is available starting from this products node of navigation. So if you go to technology and you try and go somewhere, now you're going to get documentation that is filtered. You will not be able to access these documents. So always make sure you're starting from products and then the world is your oyster, so to speak. Yeah, everything from here is available to you. Now, the two main areas of documentation that you would use are going to be your router and your switch documentation. For CCIE version 5 on the router, you would go iOS, iOS, and then you would go iOS 15, and you would go M and T, and then it would be 15.3 M and T. Your actual iOS code for the exam, as you know, is 15.3 T. So you would go to this section of documentation and notice you have configuration guides. These are going to be what you would use in most scenarios. For instance, let's say we need a refresh on the DMVPN hub configuration. We would look through these chapters and we would find the security section. And then there's user services, data plane, and secure connectivity configuration guide. The secure connectivity configuration guide is what we need. We would go into DMVPN. We would go to the dynamic multipoint VPN chapter. And we would go to configuring the hub for DMVPN. And here is our summary steps. Here's a breakdown of those steps with examples. And then, obviously, a nice thing in the documentation is there is a complete example hub configuration with comments for DMVPN. So, notice how I just got to this particular topic very quickly. How was I able to do that? Well, it's because I know intimately well this body of documentation and where things are located in this documentation. This is a key skill that you want to build for your lab exam, being able to use the documentation quickly, effectively, and efficiently. Now, that's the router main body of documentation that we would look at. By the way, there are command references as well. So if you wanted to quickly just get all of the goods on a particular command, you could do that with the command reference. What about the switch stuff? 
Well, your switch in the exam is the 3560X running 15.0 SE code. So what we'll do is we'll just start over. Support all products. And we'll start from that products node. We'll go to switches. This is an access LAN switch, the 3560. There's the 3560X. We go in, we grab, notice there's command references, but there's also configuration guides. We go in, we grab the configuration guide for as close as we can get to our exam version, which is right here, 1501 SE, that'll be fine. And we can see the various chapters that we have for the switching documentation. Maybe they are having us do an IPv6 access control list on the switch in the exam. We can go right to the configuration example and we can go through configuring that in the exam environment. So remember, it's anything. I get this question a lot. Well, I just showed you the two main body of switching and routing documentation that you would need. Remember, it is truly anything available from that initial products navigation. So I know some of you will have favorite documentation locations outside of the two main areas I just showed you. And good news, yes, you could access them in the lab. Let me show you a quick example. If we go security, we go firewalls, ASA, ASA 5500X, for example, we are going to go into the configuration guides for your ASA. Inside the configuration guides for your ASA is a reference chapter. This reference chapter includes uh, addresses, protocols, and ports. And this is a nice document that students like to reference for the various private networks, for well-known TCP and UDP ports, for IPv6 uh, addresses and address formats and things of that nature. So if you're in love with a particular document that you found like this, yes, it would be available in the lab exam. And we know the answer is yes, because remember, it all started from that particular products node in that initial navigation interface. So this is a our micro nugget, therefore, on exactly what documentation you have in your lab exam. And of course, we took a look at the router main body of information 15.3t. And we look took a look at the main switch body of information you'd be interested in 15.0 SE on the 3560x switch. We'll have lots more to say in our CCIE version 5 lab training on this subject of documentation. When you would use it, how you would use it, how does it fit into your overall exam strategy. But again, in this micro nugget, I just wanted you to be absolutely clear on what you will have available to you in all three sections of your CCIE version 5 lab exam. I sure hope this nugget has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.